Hey, everybody, my friends and I are here to offer you a little bit of literature. Uh, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, that we are supposed to uh, expose deeds of darkness rather than participate in them. And what we're here to do tonight is to remind you that Jesus is Lord and has all authority over all nations, all kings, all presidents, all parliaments, all congresses, etc., etc., and all Supreme Courts. And we'd also like to remind you that because our nation engages in the wholesale slaughter of the unborn and uh, massive celebrations of perversions such as gay pride parades uh, and massive uh, theft from citizens such as taxation, uh, our nation is in deep trouble and deep distress, which is why we've got the flag hung upside down here, not as a symbol of disrespect, but rather as a symbol that we need help. This nation needs the help of those who name the name of Jesus Christ to speak out against the Holocaust of child sacrifice. Every single day in America, more than 3,000 children are murdered, probably well over 3,000, more like four or five. There's no way to know. For sure, friends, we all live in a nation that is responsible for not only engaging in the destruction of the unborn, but also in tolerating it, friends. We all tolerate this scourge of the unborn, the massacre of children. We tolerate it on a daily basis. Here in Oklahoma, we like to applaud ourselves and say that we're the most pro-life state in the whole nation. And yet, friends, it is, a, it is an established fact that more than 10,000 children are murdered in the state of Oklahoma every single year. So what does that mean? Out of 50 weeks, approximately in a year, that's 200 children murdered per week in the state of Oklahoma. For which is why we say every day in America, we must abolish human abortion, friends. And friends, we're calling upon you. If you love Jesus, please raise up your voice. Con contact your state legislator. Contact the governor. Contact the lieutenant governor. There is a bill before the state legislature of Oklahoma at this very moment, Senate Bill 13, lucky number 13, to abolish abortion in the state of Oklahoma. It is not moving forward now. Why? Because the Republicans, the pro-life movement, and the Southern Baptists have opposed it. Hey, how you doing? God bless you. No. So we're all opposing it. Yeah. Is off your microphone? I wanted to speak with you very quickly. Oh, sure. What's up? No, will you okay. take off your microphone, Sure. Please? Absolutely. I believe in talking to the person. Sure, that's fine. I've had a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and one-year-old. Mm -hmm. I am totally pro-life. Mm -hmm. We support foster and adoption. Mm -hmm. Nice. We support families that do that. Mm -hmm. You know, we do those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. But right now, what you're talking about, I have to know what's appropriate for my kids at the age. Mm -hmm. And for a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old, mm -hmm. this isn't appropriate for my kids. With all due respect, so, I disagree. Um, but the, that image, what you're saying, those things like that, mm -hmm. we talk about different things, but yeah. I also have to understand what is age appropriate. Mm -hmm. And developmentally, this isn't something my kids can understand, and this is something my kids will have nightmares over because of their tender hearts that God has given Let's them. hope so. Let's yeah. hope they'll grow up to be mighty warriors so, for Jesus against Holocaust in which they will live when they're older. Right. Let's hope that their hearts are touched. And that they are tender toward what the Holy Spirit is saying. But I would really appreciate it if you would move to different locations. Not that I don't agree with I you or to. appreciate what you're doing. I totally do. You know, I write my legislatures about mm -hmm. this sort of thing. Yeah. So like, I were you totally aware of uh, Senate Bill 13 before? Um. Were, yes. were you aware of Senate Bill 13? Yes. You yes. were. Cool. So, and my sister-in-law is adopted. Mm -hmm. And. Was so, your church? I was mean, it, did your church talk about Senate Bill 13? Uh, no. Okay. So, is um, that could I can I ask you just from somebody who respects you know, the fact that we live in an abortion holocaust, as you obviously understand, you know, the church, the fact that the churches have not arisen to call for the destruction of abortion with with so much strength that we all that we all possess as the churches of Jesus Christ in the state of Oklahoma, your church has not raised up its voice against it in, in a way as to lead to its abolition with a very obvious like Senate bill to destroy it. May I ask you to contact the leaders of your church? and call them to repent of their silence with respect to the abortion holocaust. If they're not even talking about a bill that's before the state legislature to abolish abortion, I think that says a lot about what your church is, where your church's voice is and how much they speak out against this when there's not even a bill. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? That's how we got into this situation. Yeah, by being silent. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly right. Okay. So now is not the time to be silent. May I also ask, are, are you planning to homeschool your children? Um, no, I don't homeschool, but I participate heavily and I do Mother's Day out in the church. Do you have TV? Uh, do you have TV at your house, like Netflix or something? We also? do, but we don't often use it. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So you send your children to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they're being shown. With all due respect, to complain about a graphic image shown on the on the street corner, when you send your children to somebody else to educate you know, and take care my, of them, my God, something to think about. My God is a judge. 
You are not my judge. God but, is but my can't judge. We, can't we, can't we exhort him. one another to love and good deeds? Do you mind please moving? Because See, now what's happening is I'm, I'm trying to talk I'm trying to talk to you on a biblical but level. But the question I've asked you is yeah. will you please move? I understand. Because this is not appropriate right. for my five-year-old and, I, and I disagree. my three-year-old and my one-year-old. I disagree. Yet you say that's an appropriate image and it's not. So please move. I think I'm, ex I think I'm obeying Ephesians chapter 5. See, that's what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know that you don't want me here. It's, it's understandable. And you can hate me all you want. It's fine. I'm not saying you hate me. But just keep in mind, friends, we are commanded. Okay, praise God. So we are commanded to expose evil, not tolerate it, not live in peace with it, not live a tranquil life, and not pretend that it's not there, friends. We're all guilty. So that means you. You and I, we are all guilty. We must repent. We must speak out against the Holocaust of child sacrifice. And if you don't know Jesus tonight, please be reconciled to God. The Bible says that you can be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ lived the perfect life that you have not lived. You have, you have tolerated child sacrifice in your life. That's sin. You'll stand before God. You'll give an account of your sin, the things that you weren't supposed to do and you did, the things that you were supposed to do and you didn't do. You'll give an account. There will be no excuse on the terrible day of judgment. You'll stand before the Almighty God who's seen everything you've ever done and everything you haven't done. He will judge you. You will be thrown into hell, justly condemned for your sin. But Jesus Christ came to save sinners. If you will repent of your sin, place your faith in Jesus Christ, turn to Him in repentance, turn to Him in trust, and ask Him to give you the gift of eternal life. He will give you eternal life and a new heart that loves truth and loves your neighbor as yourself. I beg of you to consider that tonight. God bless you.